Hello everybody, welcome back to Tokyo Creative. I'm your host Emma and today I'm here with the wonderful Sarah. Hi guys. And we have come to Kawagoe, which is about half an hour from Ikebukuro or from Tokyo. It's in Saitama and it's a really cute little historical town based on like the Edo, Edo yeah. well not based on it, the buildings from the Edo <laughs> period. And uh, this place is awesome, really great for a day trip and it's really great for street food. So we're at it again. We're going to eat our way through Kawagoe. Let's get started. Let's get snacking. I actually kind of want to have a beer. Oh, I'm down for a beer. Yeah, okay. it's hot. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I don't know what we're drinking. <laughs> okay, we have come to the Starbucks in Kawagoe, which is a little bit special. I know it's like, oh, they've gone to Starbucks, but it's really, really cool. There is a beautiful Japanese garden and it's made to kind of fit in with the rest of the architecture in the town. It's very really nice. I got a, a strawberry frappuccino because that is the seasonal drink of right now. And what'd you get? I just have a normal latte because I need caffeine. So it's a <laughs> Cheers, it's a <laughs> I'm going to mix it up a little bit. I love this outdoor vibe. It's really rare to have a Starbucks with a little garden. Mm -hmm. How's your, how's your frap? It's the good. Strawberry. My strawberry. It kind of tastes like strawberry yogurt. Oh, I, I quite in a good like way? It. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, okay. I like it, I like it. Oh! oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> There's nothing in the <laughs> Okay. I'm gonna have a confession. <laughs> Are we gonna tell them? I'm gonna tell you guys, I drank my drink an she, hour ago. She already drank it. Amazon, a second drink. We just love this place so much, so come and check out Starbucks Kawagoe. <laughs> So this area is famous for Koedo, which is a brewery, a local one, and I found some on tap beer. I'm down. It's so awesome. Let's it's go. a really nice vibe. Like yeah. the building's really beautiful. And yeah, let's have a, a, a brewski. <laughs> it's got our beer and it's $3. Yeah, not too bad for a big old cup of beer. Let's come by. Yeah, come, come by. by. Oh, oh. Mm. That's so refreshing. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Oh, a nice cold beer on a hot day. That's beautiful. Great way to start the day. I am right. worried I will get a little <laughs> rowdy towards the end. Tipsy street food. Um, but also in like awesome. Australia, you can't drink on the like street, so it's a really cool experience. Just like you know. Yeah, I might be. Like I won't get arrested. That's, I, I truly treasure that feeling. Yeah. This is really easy to drink, and you can buy these at like Kombini in Tokyo. I see them. Yeah, they have two different kinds as well with different tastes. Yeah. It was. Soup kitty, the other one was shark. Yeah, we asked, but she she was like, of course they're different. And I was like, true. <laughs> Do I try? No. Oh, yeah, we're Sam. Swapping. Swapping. Mmm. Well, this one feels okay. more fruity. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, well, I guess let's chug our beers and keep going. Yeah. Oh, it's the iconic clock tower. Hello. Talking of Kane. It apparently chimes, but I, we haven't heard it yet. Therefore, it doesn't chime. If a tree falls in the woods, does it really make a sound? Yes. If the clock. I play Zelda, sound. it makes a sound in Zelda. Ah, well, never mind. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> Day. What a better way to cool down than some ice cream. But not just any ice cream, it's soy sauce. What? What? That's crazy. It's so good. Well, it usually is. I don't know about this You've one. You've had it before? I've had d other ones, not this oh, one. Oh, well, I'm, I'm ready to eat a ducky The mix of the savory, the salty, the sweet. I also like the texture of this ice cream. It looks very like mochi mochi kind of fluffy. Yeah. Oh, oh, you got ducky mouse. It's crunchy. I didn't get a crunch. I'm jealous. Mm. This one is way more soy saucy than other soy sauce ice creams I've had. It's a mitarashi, like, you know how mit mitarashi dango? It's like that soy sauce. Thick, sweet soy sauce. Yeah. Yeah, it's a very sweet, subtle flavor. I like it. Mm. It doesn't, I wouldn't actually guess it's soy sauce if you gave it to me. Mm. Like, blindfolded me and put me in a room and was like, what is this? <laughs> I'll be like, I don't know. <laughs> That's so aggressive. I'm so <laughs> wish I could save you from that situation. Soy sauce ice cream, what flavor would you I would say it's similar to salted caramel, but it's like kind of <laughs> musky. What's that musky. Right? I don't know. It's got like that, uh, that like sa it's more savory, more sa like a savory a salted caramel. Subtle savory. It's still more on the sweet side. Mm. A unique flavor you can only experience in Kawagoe and other select locations across Japan. <laughs> 
Shall we find more? Yeah, I, well, I want more ice cream and cold things because I'm know, sweating it's so everywhere. Hot. It's so hot today. Finally, summer is here. You want to try, Shaw? Sure. That's way more savory than like the one we had in Kobo. Yeah, I know. But it's really good. It's good, yeah. right? We get oh. sweet potato, but it's a sweet potato brulee. Up, so I think they get like, I don't know if you guys have had Japanese sweet potato, but it's very sweet and very like slow cooked and very mushy and delicious. And they've put sugar on top, caramelized it. Do you want hot or cold as a choice? Oh gosh. What are you I feel like hot would be better for brulee. I know, it me too. Mm. 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 Actually, sweet potato is super famous in Kawagoe. So you can get a lot of sweet potato chips, sweet potatoes in ice cream, and here you can also get dried sweet potato, which is very Japanese. I've never seen dried sweet potato in Australia, but yeah, it's like a little a little potato snack. Autumn, it, it's sweet potato everywhere. everywhere. Everything sweet potato, everywhere. breakfast, lunch, dinner, supper. Sweet potato. Sweet potato. Oh! Mechahi kaori. Okay, I have the warm brulee sweet potato. I think they put custard on top and then some sugar and then torched it. And uh, yeah, time to dig go in. Go for it, you go first. Oh, thank you. Oh, wow. It's so soft. Oh my God, I love sweet potato. Yakimo. Yakimo. Yeah, so you got the sweet potato down the bottom. Oh. Custard up top. Dakimasu. Dakimasu. Mmm. Mmm. Amazing balance there. That is really damn good. The custard isn't too sweet. The sweet potato is perfectly sweet. And then the little crunch of the brulee on top. Mm. And the creaminess is just next level. Oh my goodness. The sweet potato itself is super soft because mm. they actually bake it for two hours in these giant pots behind us. So they reach this softness mm. that's just melts in your mouth almost. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you guys come here, if even if you're not a huge fan of sweet potato in where the country that you're from, mm. you gotta try Japanese sweet potato. It's got something different going on. Especially in the colder months, it's just kind of mm. warming mm -hmm. to the heart. I'm curious how the cold one would have tasted now. Because mm. you can buy frozen sweet potatoes and they like, eat them like an ice cream. Really? I'm like, oh, really? I've never done that. Me neither. We've come to this dagashiya, which is one of the traditional Showa era candy shops here in Japan. And we're browsing and she gave us a little sample. We got a little sample, it's made from honey. Mm. It tastes like it. I really like this. Honey. I like that too. Mm. They have a lot of traditional cute candy stores around here. And they're so cute. I love the look of like the little mikan slices. Mm. And also always jelly beans in Japan are very long or very short. I feel like poifel is very short and the, short, the, yeah. the traditional ones are very long. I didn't even realize they had traditional ones. I feel like yeah. I never see that size in Japan. Really? I see them all the time. Yeah. Oh, really? Mm. Or anyone else watch Hamtaro when they were a kid? Mm. These, do you remember that episode of Hamtaro where there was the, like the competo and they were up in the top in the jar and Hamtaro climbed up and it fell down? Mm. Good times. Competo. <laughs> competo. So what should we get? So cute and cheap as well. Yeah, it's like 80, well, I don't know what the conversion rate is, but it's 80 yen for a little thing. So like 80 cents, less than a dollar. Less than a dollar, what did we get? We got a little, I don't know what you call these. I remember seeing them called like little mochi candies. I love these. They're, They're so, so cheap. Just like a variety of flavors. We've got orange, cherry, banana, and apple. And they're just like little little candy cubes. Would you? Oh. They're gonna see that Mmm. They're so chewy. So sweet. They're, they're, just, they're nice. my favorite. They're my favorite like nuts gushy Japanese yeah. sweet. Even though it's not nuts gushy for me because I'm from Australia. <laughs> but if I one. was a Japanese child, I would feel nostalgic about these. The flavor is also subtle, so you could enjoy mm. it. It's not like this intense sweetness. Mm -hmm. So, and the texture is just so great. I like the um. I don't know if it's lemonade or blue. The blue ones. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't know what flavor they are. I don't know what, oh. Might be a lemonade or blue. Mm. Blue believe, something. Probably lemonade, maybe. But also, it's very easy to eat a whole pack. They just, they just. Disappear. It's dangerous. Mm -hmm. Let's keep going. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, it's a hot day. <laughs> it's Sarah dripping. got some 
sweet potato ice cream, mm. a mix of vanilla, sweet potato, and sweet potato sticks. Mm. And I, I can't stay away from the Ichigo Ame, which is uh, candied strawberries. So, itadakimasu. Mmm. Mm good? Mm -hmm. You want to have some of my kempi? I really, I really like them. kempi. Kempi is like this sweet potato okay. stick. It's glazed, it's crunchy, right amount of sweetness. Good crunch. I got a mix of like milk cream with the sweet potato and it's so... This ice cream has a different texture or look to it. Mm. It looks almost anime-like, the way they just... It's very thick and swirly. And yeah. Beautiful. Beats mm. Mr. Whippies. Mm. How was your Ichigo? It's good. It's got that crunch, that level of danger that I crave constantly. I feel like you love your Ichigo Ame, Jonah. I'm a big fan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's kind of scary when you bite into it and it's like shards of glass, but it's it's delicious. Oh. I'm getting pretty full. I don't know how many more. Maybe a savory thing. I want mm. some salt and vinegar chips. I would love a savory thing. Salt. <laughs> I think that's a thing, man. I'm little on a stick, everybody. Dashi Maki Tamago. It's uh, it's got dashi in it, which is like a broth kind of thing. Add some flavor. Is it good? Oh, you feeding me? Ah, it's excellent. That is really good. What? So soft. I almost did not want to have any because I was like, I don't feel like egg on a stick. That's I convinced delicious. You. The flavor of the the dashi in there is delicious. It's and it's juicy. Mm. It's juicy. I wouldn't it's really. Hot. I wouldn't really think about a juicy egg being delicious, but it's really. As, uh, that's all. Can I have another bite? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> yeah, everyone was that's like, awesome. no, we don't need it. And I was like, no. That's so random. Thank you for fighting the good fight. Sha. Mm. Sha also wanted to try mm. it. Um, but if you go to an izakaya in Japan, you're definitely going to find this on the menu. But having it on a stick. That one is better than most I've had on it the is. menu. That one's really good. Only 200 yen. Best 200 yen of the day. I mean, I like the sweet potato, but well, that was more than 200 yen. That was like 400. Okay, so yen. technically you're correct. But hey. the, this is really cute. This is just down a little side street from uh, the Candy Alley, and there's a little una unagi restaurant, and it's yeah, it's and peaceful. Trees. trees. Yeah. There's like water feature happening somewhere. I can hear it. It's very peaceful. Nice to take a break from the crowds. The crowds. Yeah. Ah, I'm feeling pretty full. We have eaten a lot. We have. How much room do you have left? To one. Eat? One more. One more. One okay. More banger. That'll be another better 200 yen deal. Yeah. 200 yen banger coming right up. <laughs> I'll, find, I'll find you one. I'll find you one. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I don't know if we can beat that egg though. That was my favorite. Oh, like That's so good. Apparently it gets hard really fast, so I gotta go. That's what she said. <laughs> Go slow. <laughs> oh no, I did it. More, more cut. <laughs> more cut. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it. You can do it. really good at balloons. Oh, so it's slow, so it always it's slow. Yeah. Just a little bit of, yeah. Wow. All right, I'm just like watching from a distance. <laughs> that scared me. It popped. No. Say <laughs> more. But still, my, my adrenaline is running so fast. <laughs> Wait, you, no more, no more. It's, I, it's I just wanted to see what would happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Did oh. you already pop? Oh my god! I already popped it. No! I already Success. did success. <laughs> no! <laughs> uh -huh. uh, oh, oh, you get a, a retry. Oh, oh, okay, good. Well, okay, go, go, scared. Emma. Oh, nice. Oh, that's pretty. That's beautiful. Maybe I'm stop spinning. there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, itadakimasu. It just like melts. Oh my god, you're still going. I'm still going. That's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful. Nice job. Mm -hmm. mm. This is only 250 yen each. Two dollars for that blowing candy experience. <laughs> you also get to eat it and look like an idiot. Mm -hmm. They also sell the other ame candy where they've like made the shape of animals. Mm. There was a koala. 
There's also other cool ones, so mm -hmm. they're fun to bring home because they're beautiful. Mm -hmm. You're right, it really does get stuck in your teeth. It's like, right? I can't chew anymore because like, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> kind up. of scary. Yeah, but this is delicious. I never thought I'd eat a balloon. It's always been my dream. And plastic. A plastic balloon. <laughs> Yeah, popular summer treat is cucumber on a stick. And also, it's very popular with kappa, which is a type of Japanese uh, yokai or mythical creature. Uh, kappa live in uh, rivers and they'll steal children, but they like cucumbers. And nice they facts. They have water on their head, and if, if, if it tips out, they die. That's my kappa facts. Mmm, it's not just a cucumber, it's pickled. And this one is pickled. It has like fish, fish flavor. Katsuo, ne? Katsuo. But it's good. Refreshing. I also cutie. got one, because they have plain salt flavored. Enjoy. And they've got little rubber ducks. He's <laughs> very <laughs> cute. How He's very you? cute. <laughs> he supports my, my mission to eat. And there's more kappa here. They've got the foodie. Oh, that's cute, the kappa foodie. Mm. I love it. Ah. I just wanted to join in. Mm, so good. This has just been so nice. Mm. Now, I feel so full. I'm ready for like the train back to Tokyo. I'm going to take a little nap. It's only 30 minutes though. I know. It'll be a very short nap. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I am so full. That was so much fun. And I really loved walking around the town. Like it, there's just like a few select streets that have a really nice like old school vibe. And it was just wonderful to walk around and eat a bunch of food. Yeah, I'm full, I'm satisfied. We had some of the best street food there is to find here. And I'm ready to come back and do the cultural stuff next time. Yeah, there's so much no, no. more here. All the yeah. temples and everything. And during Sakura season, it's beautiful. So there's way more to do here than just street food, but it is a big part of it. Yeah. But yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, let us know in the comments down below what other places you'd like us to visit and eat all the food at. And uh, yeah, leave us a like and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye! Mine doesn't... <laughs> I can't chug beer, I lied. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't chug beer. I actually can't. It's physically impossible for me. Uh -oh, uh -oh. I just took one big sip and I was like... <laughs> There's something about beer, I'm like, I just, I can't. I, can't. I have to do tiny sips.